So we're 24 months or so into the COVID-19 pandemic, and you may be starting to hear people talk about a transition to endemic COVID and what that might mean for the future. When we think about an endemic disease, typically what we mean is a disease that is controlled, that we have some predictable sense of where that disease is going to go next, of how much that, of that disease we should expect at any given time, and we have a plan for what to do when we see cases of the disease. Thinking about the future and what it might look like to have a good system of control around COVID-19, we can think about the types of things that are typically done for the flu. For example, with the flu, we have a global system of flu monitoring and tracking, and so we probably will want to see something like that for COVID. Really routine monitoring, routine tracking of the genetic code, and routine updating of the vaccines. We want to get to a situation where there's an infrastructure for taking care of most of COVID, and then and maybe sometimes if there's a particularly bad COVID season, people would be asked to wear masks during that. A lot of people want to know, are we ever gonna be free of COVID? Are we ever gonna not have to think about COVID anymore? And for at least the foreseeable future, the answer is probably no. But that doesn't mean that we have to be in crisis mode for the foreseeable future. As we see with the flu, when it's well controlled, most of us don't actually experience the impact of flu on our lives. Right now, COVID is not really under control, but there's a lot of reason to be optimistic. We're seeing many countries around the world which have been able to open back up with no restrictions and not see big COVID surges. And that's really the goal we should be aiming for, but it's not gonna just happen. We can do things to keep COVID at a manageable level. This might mean um, health departments having dedicated COVID units. It might mean hospitals having dedicated COVID teams. We have the tools. What we need to do now is get those tools in place and, and use them going forward.